Hey guys, Passe Baller here. Uh, we are to discuss the games. For June 13 game day, there are two games uh, for the NBA. Um, one would be a bit early, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that will be the Eastern Conference uh, semis between Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Brooklyn Nets, uh, they're still up, two games to one. Uh, but Milwaukee Bucks, um, they're the latest winners of the series. Uh, they won game three. That was a heck of a game. Um, uh, three points, I guess, 86-83, if I remember the score right. Uh, that happened in uh, Milwaukee's home court. And game four would still be in uh, Milwaukee. So um, let's see if the same thing's gonna happen or, you know, will Brooklyn Nets um, break away in the 3-1 lead. Before we start uh, discussing this uh, game, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed to our channel yet, Passive Baller, to please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, uh, hit on the bell logo, that way automatically you guys will be uh, receiving notifications whenever there will be new uh, videos that will be uploaded, okay? Again, if you guys have watched Game 3, uh, man, uh, you would have been shocked if you know the stats or if you know the numbers because... Uh, number one, it was a very um, low scoring game, 86-83. That's not so Nets, that's not so Bucks. Um, and uh, I was surprised that uh, the, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks actually um, had a very good uh, first quarter. Well, I'm not surprised that you know they're, they came out swinging, but I was surprised that they were able to uh, establish that kind of lead. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that kind of lead, um, the lead was as high as, I don't know, 15, 17 points, but uh, um, as you can see, the Brooklyn Nets, so they were able to come back. They were able to make it close at the same time. Um, during the fourth quarter, um, they even got the lead. If you, know, if you can remember that uh, via uh, Kevin Durant's free, I guess around two minutes left. I even thought that Brooklyn Nets had it, but uh, you know, um, uh, the Bucks, uh, they were clutch, um, especially Drew Holiday. So um, uh, they won that game. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, but uh, for this for this uh, game, uh, the spread by the way is minus one. That's Milwaukee because uh, they're they're still having the home court advantage. But um, I have to side with Brooklyn Nets on this plus one. Uh, I'm picking Brooklyn Nets plus one because um, there are a lot of things that happen in Game Three that I think won't happen on this game. Number one is the the scoring. Um, I don't think the scoring would be that low and whenever the scoring would actually be high it, that it really favors Brooklyn Nets um, you, can, you can check that out you can check the you, you can you can check the history of their games not necessarily Milwaukee Bucks versus Nets games but you can check Nets games you know if, if the scoring is high it normally favors Brooklyn Nets number two I don't think Milwaukee Bucks can actually establish that kind of lead in the first quarter the same way they did on game three and number four, I'm, I'm sorry, number three. Um, I just, I just think Brooklyn Nets would come out swinging. If you, if you guys, if you guys would agree, I think, I think Brooklyn Nets even, you know, even nearly had it. I, I really thought that Brooklyn Nets had it when, you know, when KD made their three point shots, two point shot. But uh, you know, uh, <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't make any other basket aside from that. Not even a free throw. So uh, I, I, I know. In their minds, you know, the Brooklyn Nets, uh, they felt like, uh, man, it should have been 3-0. Um, if only they shot better, perhaps. Because uh, Kyra Irving, um, I was I was also kind of expecting more from him. And uh, it's hard to it, it's hard to see uh, KD and Kyra Irving go low back-to-back uh, -back games. And again, um, it's hard to see Milwaukee Bucks um, have that kind of uh, performance in the first quarter back to back especially against this Brooklyn Nets which is of high caliber team I'm expecting uh, Joe Harris to you know to help a little bit more in the offense uh, he can obviously shoot that three-point shot um, he won't be the three-point king for nothing right but uh, and then for Bruce Brown you know I appreciate Bruce Brown you know he's been efficient for the past few uh, games um, but for uh, but on game three man he was kind of forcing the shots over Brook Lopez man Brook Lopez man it's just he's just big he's tall he's long don't force it man anyway um, just to just to give my uh, prediction uh, my my pick on this one would be Brooklyn Nets plus one I feel like uh, after uh, after this game Brooklyn Nets would actually go home 
with the three games to one advantage and they will try to end it right there okay again my pick on this one would be brooklyn nets plus one peace out pass love and god bless